now we have the geometry in here um, let's set up a geometry for a composite analysis uh, for composite uh, all we need to do is need is a surface so as you can see there's a thickness to this so this is actually a solid so we want to generate surfaces so the outer surface of the monocoque from this solid right here uh, to do that uh, you want to go to concept surface from faces and then select the faces that you want to generate hit apply and then generate as you can see in different color that you have a surface generated and you can also see it here uh, because we don't need that solid anymore we can suppress it okay um, in geometry cleanup sometimes you want to patch up surfaces for example the we are going to have a closed back end uh, so we want to patch up this area right here uh, to do that you want to go to tools surface patch uh, select the air uh, select the edge right here and here hit apply and then generate as you can see we have a closed end on the back now after doing that um, the next step is to slice up the geometry into its regions uh, for this particular exercise we have four different regions here uh, we have the front back and then the two side impact areas uh, the reason we want to do that is because uh, we want to create name selections uh, so we can easily select each re region and build up the plies in that area um, and the reason we have different regions is that uh, sometimes we have different ply buildups in different areas according to our needs for example uh, on the back end of the car most likely we are going to have engine mounts so because of vibration fatigue it's probably not going to be a good idea to have a core structure in the back so the composite buildup on the back is probably just going to be carbon fiber uh, prepregs so to uh, separate the monocoque into uh, different uh, different regions we want to use the slice command um, there are a couple choices you can slice by edges or you can slice by planes in this case we're going to slice by planes uh, to do that you want to generate a new plane uh, we want XY plane as the reference right here so we don't need to change that and then offset in the Z direction uh, so let's look at it this way so we want a reference plane around here to cut off the front area so we want to put in the value it's about negative 14.5 and hit generate and then we go to create slice uh, slice by planes and select your reference plane which is plane 5 hit apply um, normally you want to slice your target object in this case it would just be the uh, the entire monocoque uh, we hit generate now we have two different surfaces uh, sometimes uh, when you slice uh, the object it automatically goes into the frozen mode and sometimes it gives you transparent bodies like this to turn that off if you think that's annoying and you want to turn that off all you need to do is go to views and uncheck frozen body transparency and then the next and we want to cut off the back end so we create another reference plane and we can reference off from the plane 5 we just created and then we want to offset in Z direction uh, this is about I think it's a negative 20 oh 21 and so we're gonna cut off the back section and then we hit apply once again we go to create slice we pick our reference plane plane 6 apply 
and hit generate and we have our back section right here and then now we want to slice the middle section to two, two in half with left and right side impact area um, to do that we can use the um, YZ plane to slice it in half so all we need to do is go to create slice again make the rest reference plane YZ plane and hit apply now select target bo bodies um, we want only cut this middle section in half so we want to click on this and hit apply and then generate now we have our four surfaces uh, we want to name them so you go to tools name selection uh, we can call this the front select geometry and hit apply and then generate so that's the front and then name selection the back and hit apply and generate with these name selections it's going to be carried uh, throughout the process so even when I combine the bodies uh, these n name selection will be there for me to easily select the areas the region that I wanted and then the next one is the left side apply generate and then lastly the right side select and apply uh, once I can distinguish each region uh, I want to combine my solids so they are one part so create a new part and give it the name monocoque <laughs> the next thing we want to do is for these suspension links um, we want to add a cross-sectional area because they're tubes uh, so you, we want to add a cross-sectional uh, profile for these uh, line bodies all we need to do is go to concept cross-section circular tubes and we want the outer diameter to be 0.5 oh we have to change change the inner the inner radius first so this is 0.4 and this is 0.5 and hit generate okay so that's what this tube is profile is going to look like and then we go to the line body to apply the cross sectional area to the line body all we need to do is go to here cross section and then select the cross section we just created and we'll do the same for the other one and now the geometry is prepared uh, we're ready to do the meshing part of the analysis